For the last time in the foreseeable future, the Gonzaga Bulldogs and Washington State Cougars met up on the hardwood tonight. We got a pretty good game of it down in Pullman. The Zags play, playing without Shimmick Karnowski tonight, who had a sore back, and the Cougs would come out running. Charles Callison with the steal. He's going to take it all the way to the rack. Cougars with a quick four-point lead, and the home crowd is excited. But Kyle Wilcher looked like a video game early on today. Knocks down the three here, and he was just getting started. Another three coming here for Wilcher. He had 20 points in the first 10 minutes on pace for a million. Sags up by 13. But the Cougs would close the gap near the end of the half. Ike Regbu on the break finishes with the reverse lay-in. Cougs cut it down to just eight at the half. Second half, Zags would extend their lead again. Silas Melson down the lane, gets the hoop, but gets the foul. Back up to 13 with 10 minutes to go. But here come the Cougars again. Off the steal, ahead to a reg blue, finishes. Cuts the lead down to six with five to go. But the Zags had an answer all night long. This time it's Doma Sabonis with a spinning finish for Gonzaga. And they get a big time test, but the Zags hold on. 69-60 is our final. Zags improved to five and one. That's the first loss of the season for the Cougars. They drop down to four and one. Pretty fun game between two local teams. So we toss it down to our Will Sherritt and Sarah Wheeler who join us live from Pullman. Guys, we'd expect nothing but a tough game when these two teams hook up. That's exactly right, Keith. On paper, the Zags really looked like the better team, but well, this thing came down to it. Both teams played really well in the second half. Well, the Cougars came as close as six points in this thing. Josh Perkins, though, really taking over at the guard spot, finishing with 16 points. But hey, tip of the cap, the Cougs will. Yeah, absolutely. Using that energy and effort to get themselves back in the game, really pushing Gonzaga late into the second half. And after traveling to Japan and the Bahamas, Gonzaga's worn out and they're ready for some time off. It was going to be a tough battle um, just because kind of that crosstown rivalry, rivalry, that state rivalry. Um, so we knew they were going to bring it, and we had to be prepared, and especially with uh, Shimmick out. Um, we really had to, to get after it and, and really execute and, and be dialed in with the game plan, and I think we did a pretty good job of that tonight. The Zach was a good team. They know uh, how to handle themselves in that in that moment of the game. But um, we felt like we were, we were right there. We just um, didn't execute as well as we should have. But um, we'll learn from it. Of course, the big talking point in this one, these two teams really ending their rivalry. They played basically every single year since 1907. Ernie Kent taking the podium after this game, talking about how he wished this series would go on, how it means so much to both of the fan bases, the ball obviously in Gonzaga's court. And for now, it doesn't look like the series will continue. Yeah, in the Zags locker room tonight, the big story, Shemek Karnowski, when is he going to be back? Head coach Mark Pugh saying it was back problems this morning. The shoot around just never loosened up. They couldn't really plan for him being out. So we'll see, of course, on Saturday, come to the kennel, Arizona. Hopefully he'll be back then. Reporting live from Beasley Coliseum for Will Sherrod, I'm Sarah Wheeler. Back to you, Pete. All right, thanks, guys. Drive home safe. We'll see you in just a little bit.